Man, will fish really eat that? Like, is that is that actually the deal? How funny is that? What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Beautiful morning out for fishing anyway. It looks like I could get rained on. Hopefully not because... Yes, we finally got the old aluminum kayak out. Not gonna lie, I feel ashamed that it's July uh, and the first time that I've had old Betsy here out. So I think we might be able to find some topwater fish. I hope, I don't wanna jinx myself. Uh, it's gonna be me and Brando. Brando's meeting me in his John boat. Uh, we're gonna have dueling John boats today. Uh, maybe a friendly little wager who can find more fish. Hopefully we can both just find some fish. So enough yapping, I see fish jumping. This is hopefully gonna be a good morning. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm, let's start with some top water. Oh, look, I got all my tools there in my little foam holder. I think I think there could be some fish out here. Not not sure. I gotta retire the Because it had no weight? All right, first one of the day, throwing a little Ned rig around. Decent. Forgot to put my anchor down. Is this a smallmouth? Nope. All right, there we go. There he is, first one of the day. Pretty good little fish. Oh, don't come off, feller. There we go. We'll take that little two-pounder to start the day. Nice, on the little Ned rig, and that is the new X-Zone larger four-point whatever inch Ned Zone stick. I think they call it the Nico Zone stick. Love it, nice. All right, cool. Love starting off with a nice little chunky two-pounder. Thanks for eating fish. Off. Okay, well, again, that is why I've talked about these uh, weedless EWG, you know, Ned style hooks. This is actually one from uh, Monster Bass. I forget what they call it, the Sabre or something like that. I forget, but um, good little size. It's also got a little bit heavier wire hook than maybe some of the other ones out there. I like that. Rig it weedless like that, just like so. And that's what I did. I threw it in right there. You can see there's a little dark spot right here by all this wood. Threw it in there right in that little dark hole and he grabbed it. And I forgot to put my anchor down. I was going to anchor back a little bit farther. I see other stuff popping around here. It could be too close now, though. Who knows? There we go. Another one on the little Ned. Let's put our anchor down here. This is the nice part about my anchor. Reeling in the fish here, fighting it. Can still put my anchor down with one hand. Let that go. Don't have to tie it off. Oh, another good fish. Oh, another solid little fish. Oh, he just spit up a fi another fish. Oh, I couldn't tell what it was. You see that? He just spit up something. All right, well, there we go. He's hiding in the one on the edge. Well, pound and a half, or we'll take him. Boy, he's got some sharp teeth on him. Chunky little dude. Thanks for eating, feller. Two this morning on this little guy. Silly little rig, you would think. Man, fish really eat that? Like, is that is that actually the deal? Yeah, the Nico Zone Ned Stick from X Zone. I forget what they call it. Sorry. Ah. This little cove here is interesting. Whoa. Damn, about blew myself out of the boat. All right, finally one on top water. Not the biggest, but that's a fish on top water, dang it. Man, these fish are fighting like reaver fit. Fighting like reaver fish, and I just lost him trying to play him, watching him. Good work, Debo. Good work. There we 
we go, man. He was way back in that grass. I thought I heard something pop back there. That's why you got to pay attention. Oh, yes. Another good fish. Hey, now. Hey, now. Boy, these fish are angry, fighting like river fish here. Nice. All right, there we go. One on the top spin. Another little pound and a half, or not a monster, but I'll take these today. All right, there we go. Awesome. Another little pound and a half for today. Been a good average. That buzz bait would have been the smallest one. I lost him. That's why I did it. It's just so I didn't ruin my average. Trust me. But there we go. A little top spin, trying to mimic some shad, some bait fish. I threw that way back up in there. Honestly, thought I was going to get snagged. I was so far back in that, and he was way, way up in there. I don't know if there's more, if that was the same fish, but I heard something pop back there, splattering after something. All right, another one bit the old buzz bait. Fishing shallow like this, the old bud frog. Bud, did I just say bud frog? Budweiser frog? The old buzz, buzz frog, excuse me, usually good option. And I like the buzz frog because I feel like I tend to miss less fish on it as opposed to like a skirted buzz. There we go. That's that little Hank Cherry buzz bait. You can see just a little pounder, but that little smaller Hank Cherry buzz bait, a little bit more finesse. It's meant specifically for the soft plastics. You can see it's got that little lead kind of lip on it there. He pulled it down a little bit, but it's got that lead lip to kind of hold it. And that's one of those Yamamoto forget what they call it that I got in my monster bass box looks good on here he ate it all I'm doing is just letting the wind kind of blow me down this haven't had a bite for a minute cloud cover and everything came back out so I figured I'd try this train's coming by but I was gonna say dude followed it straight out from in in the shallows to pop it another one on the buzz bait it's a good fish huh there we go biggest one of the day just as I was coming by some brush Stuck him well, good little fish. I'll get a weight on him. I'm gonna say two and a half. Oh, stupid kilograms. He weighs zero, seriously. Oh, how about that for a guess? Two pounds, 11 ounces. All right, nice. Yeah, he's a chunky little dude. A little over two and a half pounds, biggest of the day for me. I'll take him. Let's get a, let's get a fun release on him. I am recording, right? Oh, thank goodness. All right, we'll try the buzz bait here. Maybe they're just uh, maybe they're just a little shy here. Don't quite want to come up to smack a top water. Let's just see if uh, they'll grab one of these. Maybe these fish are more keyed in on shad or something. I don't know. How funny is that? Holy crap! What was that? Something just jumped behind me. How many times did I throw a buzz bait in there? They wanted nothing to do with it. The top spin. Man, it's been a day of having to switch stuff up. That's funny. Now, I told y'all this looked like a spot that was fishy. Spent more time here. Really thought I would have got one on the buzz bait, but I guess not. Little pounder there. Ate the old top spin. All right, that uh, the white and purple, they've seemed to like better. This is a shad lake, so makes sense. Kind of that gizzardy, thread finny shad look to it. All right, fishing friends, just got home. Fun day on the water. First time taking the old aluminum kayak out for the year. Uh, caught some fish, wasn't crazy action, but still caught some fish. And it was beautiful weather, like 82 I think was the high. Pretty humid, but nice for summer. Okay, as for the combos that caught them, that's the new Shimano Sahara Reel. Definitely liking that. Uh, I was throwing 15, I wanna say 15 pound. This is the new Spinex Braid. 
from P-Line. You notice how it's orangish and blue? Multicolored, it changes color at every meter. Uh, it's supposed to be easier to see. You know, it doesn't matter if it's sunny or cloudy. So far, I've liked it. The rod, uh, definitely like this. This is the Shimano Bass X. The only problem I noticed is when I was tightening it out there, see how it gets to a certain point and it's almost like it's stripped, like it doesn't hold. I'm gonna have to add some electrical tape on that. I've had uh, rods do that before, but otherwise, really comfortable in hand. I like how it's nice and thin here. I hate spinning rods that are like real big and fat with a big pad or something there. Um, I really like that in hand, very, very comfortable. And that of course was the EWG Ned Head. That's from Monster Bass. It's a little bit thicker wire and the new, I wanna say they call it the Nico Zone, the 4.25 or four and a half inch uh, from X Zone. I like that a lot, looks really good in the water. Looks like a bait fish, kind of shimmers. Second combo that caught him was the trusty Tattoola 150. Absolutely love this reel for a do-it-all combo. Uh, just such a good reel at that 7.3 to 1 speed. Perfect line on it. Another fun new lure from First Gen Lures. This is the Flash X. This is essentially a swim jig with a little bit of flash on top. So it's like they added a you know the underspin on top from the top spin, but with a skirt on it. So cool little lure. Uh, it's like a finesse spinner bait. Looks good in the water. I put one of my three and a half inch do it ripper uh, swim baits on there. It looks really good in the water, very shad like. This is a white with like the purple. I'll put the exact color below, but uh, definitely a good shad mimic. And the way I caught most of the fish today, and of course my favorite way to throw was on this. This is the Jordan Lee bait caster. Happens to be a seven one to one speed. 17 pound monofilament on it. This is actually some spider wire, old spider wire I had. I like to go just a little bit heavier for a buzz bait like that in case I'm throwing it in wood or anything. Uh, the rod, now this is an arc catalyzer. I said uh, I didn't think I was gonna get any more arc rods, but this one I got for sale, I think at Christmas when they had them on sale for like $33. So far, uh, it has done well. And I have to say, fit in hand is extremely good. I really like the reel seat on it. My buzz bait's getting on really over there. But anyway, I'll have a, a full review on this soon. Now the lure. This is the Picasso Lures buzz bait. So this is specifically set up, as I pull the plastic back there, for soft plastic frogs. So you can see it's got the lead, molded onto the wire. It's got a little like barb or hook there uh, that helps keep your soft plastic on. I had the same plastic on there all day, which is this guy right here, the Yamamoto Yama Frog. I have never thrown these, never heard of them uh, until I got this in my Monster Bass box. So Monster Bass, thank you for showing me a new lure. I feel dumb for not knowing these existed. Uh, I've never even heard of them. So cool look to it, the Yama Frog. That color is black here. I went with the whole black and red today. This was the only uh, buzz bait that I had of one of these that I could find. I think I got a couple other colors, but it worked perfect with that black and red, and I think maybe it mimics some bluegill up in the shallows. So all in all, really fun day in the water. Glad to get this baby out, glad it still floats, and I really like the mods. Having that right there by my seat was really handy, and having this there to hold the lures to dry off is nice as well. Today's subscribe fish and friend is Cincinnati King Fishing. Thank you, man, for watching, always supporting, and again, thank you everybody else who continues to watch. Help my channel grow, it means a ton to me. Uh, I would not be here without all of you. So I need to get the rest of the stuff put up my, put, 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 put away uh, and go inside and grab a refreshment because I am sweating, uh, it's a little humid out. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, keep uh, an eye out for more vids this week. I'm gonna try to give you a few. Thanks for watching, until next time.